as we thank God for you, yeah. the greeters, and all. All right. Um, yes. Amen. That's all right. That's all, all right. right. Thank you, Dickens Brown. Right. Right. I ask that everyone who will please continue to keep my wife lifted up in prayer. Amen. She, Amen. She's still struggling with the cold and she gave it to me, but I gave it back to her until she had it. <laughs> stayed with me about two days. I said, oh, no, I don't go there. But she's been going through with it because our, our grandbaby had the flu and, and she somehow got whatever, but um, she, she, she's struggling, but uh, you know, it's doing bad when my wife takes some castor oil. Y'all know she's doing bad. Yeah, but, um, she had done so two or three times. So anyway, just keep her lifted up in prayer. She's not here, and I know she's probably watching and listening, so anyway, let's, let's keep her lifted up. Um, next Saturday will be her birthday. And, uh, so I hope she'll be better than then. All right, here we go. All right. Turn with me on your bulletin. You have your hand down. Amen. Thank you to Deacon Phillips for doing such a marvelous job with the with the uh, bulletins. Amen. 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 All right. If you are able to stand, please stand. Um, very familiar. Yes, sir. Verse of scripture. Um, I didn't put it in the bowl tight, but John 3 16. Y'all know that verse, right? That's right. Amen. Every believer y'all know that verse. Amen. I believe none believers know that verse. Amen. 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 It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. You know what your Bible says? Right. Father, we thank you for your word. We praise you for your truth to your word. Amen. Speak to our heart today, Lord. Help us to hear from you. Yeah. Father, we pray that we receive of your word, that yeah. we might be able to glorify me in the yes. of holiness, and we as the body of Christ will be edified. Yes. Yes. Bless, strengthen, and keep us. Yes. And we pray Please. in Jesus' name, amen. we say amen. 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 amen and amen. All right, thank you. <coughs> One and all. All right. Um. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, preach, preach. I want to share with us from the subject mm -hmm. the gift that God gave. Yes, amen. The gift that God gave. Amen. Do anybody know the gift that God gave? You know, at times when people come to give gifts, uh -huh. you know, um, you might start to wondering in yourself, why are you giving me a gift? <laughs> and then there's some like, oh yes, thank you, I got a gift. You give me a gift? Amen. Great. Amen. But then when they open up the gift, unwrap the gift, and they see what the gift is, they might like, <laughs> yeah. Ooh, boy. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Amen. Because sometimes people see in us the gift that we need when we don't see it ourselves. Amen. Amen. We may need, have a need for a gift or something in our lives and we didn't see it per se, uh -huh. but somebody saw that we could use it. Yeah. And and so what 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 we began to question is what am I gonna do with this? Uh-huh. But the gift that God gave. Amen. Amen. Even when man didn't recognize they needed uh -huh. such a gift, God gave us the gift anyway. Yes, right. All right. And the good part about this gift is Digging key is that 
is good for us yeah. individually, but it's also a gift that we can keep for ourselves. Yeah. Also share with so many others. Amen. 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 That's the best gift. Why? Because that is the gift that what keeps on giving. Amen. The gift that God gave. Yeah. You know, there are going to be people who run around this month. Uh, well, I take that back. They started for Black Friday. Uh -huh. Pre Black Friday sales, trying to find the best gifts. Oh, What's right. on sale right. for people to give out for Christmas, right? Yeah. Amen. And they went to Amazon online and oh, Cyber yeah. Monday and um, into the malls, into the department stores and hustling and bustling and fighting, trying to. Pick out the best gift to give somebody, yeah. not realizing that God already gave us yes, Come on, the best Come on, gift that we can ever give to anybody else. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. And there's something amazing about this gift, the gift that God gave. The gift that God gave is able to talk with us. Yeah. Right. yeah. He's able to walk with Amen. us. Amen. You know the gift that Many of us get or receive or we give. You can use it only for a certain purpose. That's right. That's you can only do accomplish certain things with it. But the gift that God gives us, it meets us in all of our needs, yeah. wherever it may be. Amen. Right. Amen. You can't be so low on a valley that that gift won't be there. With Amen. You. You can't be so high up on a mountaintop that that gift can't be there. Right. You. Yeah. you can't be in the darkness of the, of the prison wall or the hospital rooms and, and this gift not be there with you. Yeah. Yeah. This gift, the scripture tells us, Hebrew 4, was, 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 was tempted in yeah. all points. He was, yeah. he, yeah. he, he, he was not touched with that. Yeah. You, you was, he was sympathetic to what we're going through, what we yeah. feel. This gift. Yeah. Know just what you're going through. Yeah. This gift knows exactly what you feel. Amen. All right. Amen. So this gift here, this gift, the gift that God gave. Yeah. Oh, it's a wonderful gift. That's why we ought to really focus on what Christmas is really all about. Yeah. And I know if you got children and you got grandchildren and so forth and on, great grand, you know, and you especially become old as we are as adults. Christmas in the material fashion of it since used to be for us, like it used to be for us, it don't mean the same there. We just like to watch the little babies yeah. with the joy yeah. in their hearts and their faces and they tend to their gifts. But as adults, yeah. we got to realize and know what this real gift is. Yeah. We got to realize and know what, yeah. what Christmas is all about. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you something. Once you open up that paper, Tear it off that paper and see what that gift is. Yeah. And I'm telling you, you may be happy for that day with that gift. But that gift can't keep you happy all through the year. Amen. That gift can't bring you joy and unspeakable and full of glory. Amen. That, that gift that, that you get out of that tree, that gift can't bring you healing. Amen. Can't bring you deliverance. That's all right. right. It can't be there in the midnight, in the midnight hour when everybody's gone. Right. It can't be there when loved ones is right. transitioning right. on. No, yes. no, no. Yes. But this gift, the gift that God gave, yes. oh, Amen. how amazing Amen. it is. Amen. Great, great. So, and as I was talking about this gift that talks with us and walks with us, it, it's no better story than it's found here in John's Gospel, chapter 3, concerning a man named Nicodemus yes. and Jesus. Yes, yes right. Nicodemus came to Jesus by night. That's right. And Jesus had a dialogue yeah. with Nicodemus. Uh -huh. Oh, this gift is talking to yeah. Nicodemus. Yeah. Because, see, if you look closely into this chapter, you'll find that, uh, it, put it this way, in Proverbs, the book of wisdom, Solomon said, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end there are the other ways of death. Okay. Amen. Uh -huh. And God saw that we need a gift when we didn't even see, need a gift. Why? Because in this chapter, it shows three types of people in this chapter right here. For, it shows uh, uh, that per people are rebellious people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. We are rebellious people. Y'all right. don't believe me, do you? Yeah. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Nicodemus been a, a ruler of the Sanhedrin. That's right. That's right. You know? And the Sanhedrin, and the, but, you know, they... they, they when people are representing the nation of God, ought to represent God, the nation was rebelling against God. 
Yeah. And Nicodemus became a spokesperson for the nation because you notice in verse 2, he said he came to Jesus by night and said to Jesus, Rabbi, we know. Yeah, that's right. He didn't say I know, he said who? We know. That's right, yeah. That's right. So he's speaking about, he's speaking on behalf of who? who? The nation. Yes. Other folk. He said, we know that thou art a teacher. Right? Yes, right. Come from God. Yeah. How do we know? He said, because no man can do these miracles, these signs that thou doest, except God be with them. That's right. That's right. Well, if you know that I'm set from God and, and I'm doing these signs, then why are you rebelling? People, we are rebellious people. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Hey, what's a rebellious person? You know what a rebellious child is, right? Yeah. You tell your child to do something. They're going to defy you. They're going to rebel against you. And they feel like they can do it their own way. Amen. And we, even before we were Christians, we rebelled against God. And the world is still rebelling against God. That's right. And we become believers in Christ Jesus. But still we got a rebellious nature. Why? That old nature in us. It's a rebellious nature. Why can I say that? Because when God tells us to do, be a certain way, we won't do it. Amen. Amen. And you know, we don't go out and, and, and put our fists up in the air and shake our fists like, God, I know better for myself than you. No, we don't do that. But guess what we do? We just go and do it anyway, our way. Yeah, that's right. So it's what? Rebel on you? Amen. Y'all don't rebel? How many of you do everything that God tells you to do? <laughs> we rebel. We don't even do everything our parents tell us. Those of us that have our parents still living. But that's the type of people in this world are rebellious people, but also they are rationalizing people. Rationalizing people feel like they know more than what God knows. And Nicodemus shows us about a rationalizing person. Because you know what? Jesus said to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, truly, truly, verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, the word. he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. Right? But Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born? Amen. He tried to rationalize. He tried to figure it out. Yes, right. And that's what people do today. They rebel you, but then they rationalize. Trying, I try to figure it out. Well, I because I can't figure it out, I'm skeptic. <laughs> that's right. Don't fool don't yourself. There's some skeptic folk in the church. All right. Amen. 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 And Nicodemus couldn't understand. He can't figure out. He could not figure out that Jesus was talking about a spiritual cleansing mm -hmm. that was to come. He wasn't. He didn't understand that Jesus was talking about being born from above. Mm -hmm. hmm. And there are people today don't understand. Well, how can I be born again? You mean to tell me I got to be born all over? Go back into the mother's womb? No, no, no. You don't understand. That's right. That's right. I understand. This is not a physical rebirth, but this is a spiritual Amen. rebirth. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Amen. And then not only that, not only they are rebellious people, we are, and sometimes we are actually rationalizing. Have anybody in here never ever tried to figure out God? You can't figure out God. You might try. And you might, even something in the word of God said, you might even try to rationalize Well, did he really mean it this way? But let God be true. And every man alive. Amen. But then they're religious folk. Yeah. Nicodemus represents religious people. Mm -hmm. There are people who try to work and live their way to get married with God. You can't do it. So Jesus tells Nicodemus in verse 5, he said, Truly, truly, verily, verily, I say unto you, as self and man be born of water yeah. and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom Amen. Amen. That's of God. That's the word. Born of the water, not physical water, but the word is the water. Yeah, right. Jesus said in John 53, now you are clean through the word Amen. that I have spoken. It's the word. The word, whenever you see water in the spirit come together, it's the word in spirit. It's the spirit of God that bore the word of God in our heart yes. to help us to be reborn 
spiritually. Yeah. That we can declare if we're born twice, we die once. But if you're only born once, you're going to die twice. All right, man. Right. That's right. Mm. Tell it, Pastor. Yeah. And we're bringing it together to full circle to know why the gift that God gave is necessary. Yeah. So Jesus says to Nicodemus in verse 6, he said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, but that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Yeah. Then verse 7, he said, don't be surprised. Amen. Don't marvel that I said yeah. you must be. be. You must be. be. You got to be yeah. born again. Amen. You got to be. You must be yeah. born again. People who fly, huh? Wait, have you ever been, have you been born again? No, nah, what's born again? No. Nah. If you don't know anything about the new birth, come on, man. You don't know nothing about going to heaven. That's right. All right. That's right. See, the scripture tells us, let us know that God in Jesus Christ brought heaven down to us. Amen. 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 Jesus. With one hand took hold of the Father, being in glory, and with the other hand took hold of mankind as they hung out on the old record cross, oh, yeah. bringing us together. Oh, yes. Yeah. And so Jesus says to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, the wind blows uh -huh. where it listens, where it wishes. You cannot. You hear the sound they are, but you cannot. Tell when it come. You can't even tell where it's going. Uh -huh. Or where it's going to end up. So is the Holy Spirit. What do you mean? You can't understand or you can't control the wind. So you can't understand nor can you control the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's right. Yeah. But as you look around outside, you see the wind blows in the air, but then it's in the trees and all. Yeah. You know that it has an effect because you can see it. That's right. That's right. And though you may not understand nor control the spirit, but I'm going to tell you something. The spirit of the living God working on the inside yeah, of his yeah. people have an undeniable, an unmistakable yeah. effect in our lives yeah. that cannot be denied. That's right. Yeah. That's true. Amen. Thank you. That's it. It's all because of his gift. But then he goes on to say, Nicodemus, how, Nicodemus said, how can these things be? Jesus said, Nicodemus. Yeah. Nicodemus. Yeah. In, in the King James, in the New King James Version, it said, Are you the teacher of Israel? <laughs> uh, Nicodemus, are thou are you a master of Israel and you don't know these things? Amen. Jesus now speaking to uh, the nations. The nations. Destruction to the point where if the teachers don't know, it ain't no way the nation won't know. That's so. That's right. so. If the if the master, if the teacher don't know about the spirit and about the new birth, yeah. then the nation don't know. Amen. And the preacher don't know, the preacher can't teach it, then the congregation. Amen. Don't know. All right. Amen. So he said, Nicodemus, Nicodemus, you mean to tell me you are the teacher and you don't know these things? He said, I, bro, to, to, I speak unto thee. We speak that we know. And we and we and, and testify that we have seen. Yes. And you receive not our witnesses. So he says to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, as you come to me and say, we know that, in verse 2, thou art a teacher come from God. We know. Yeah. So now, he's speaking to Nicodemus, Nicodemus, as you, in the plurality, Nicodemus, as you represents the we, I'm the we that represents God. Amen. The Father, yeah. God, the Son, and God, the Holy Spirit. He said, we speak that we know. Yeah. We testify that what we have seen. And I bring witness to you. That's right. But you won't receive it. He 
said, verse 20, if I told you earthly things and you do not believe, how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? All right. Mm -hmm. So if I come down here and tell you earthly things and you can't believe it, dealing with the water and the wind and you can't believe it, how can I tell you other things are heaven and you don't know? That's so. Listen, how can you and I know the things that are heaven if God did not bring them down to us? Yeah. How did he do it? In Jesus. So notice what he says in this verse, and I'm going to close. Jesus said, verse 13, and no man hath ascended come on. up to heaven, come on, come on, but he that came down from heaven, yeah. even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Yeah. Other words, Jesus said, did nobody go up to heaven and get this and bring it down to you? But I come down to you and bring it to you. Amen. 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 And so he says, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And now he talked about him not only coming down, but his going up. And that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have Amen. eternal life. Amen. Amen. Why? Because now he's speaking about he's dying for mankind. Amen. Amen. See, the gift was not that God gave uh -huh. him to be born, but also God gave him to die. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's a gift, y'all. What gift that you got from anybody that will die for you? All right, man. There is no gift Amen. that any of us can ever give to one another that would die for us. Yes, right. Yes. Amen. We wasn't even born for us. Because mm -hmm. everybody said, well, I'm my own man. Mm -hmm. I'm my own person. And that's why we don't put ourselves out of the way for nobody else but us. Me, myself, and I. But the gift that God gave is so different because this gift, Jesus, is not like any other gift. Amen. Amen. Why is it not like, he's not like any other gift? Because this gift. Yeah. This gift that God gave gives us relationship. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Hmm. You know and I know without Jesus bringing us together with God, we have no relationship. All right, man with God. Jesus gives us relationship. Why? He is the son. The son of God. Amen. And as he is the son of God, Genesis 1 tells in the beginning was what? The word, that word capital meaning it was Jesus. Amen. In the beginning was the word, the word with, put Jesus in the beginning with Jesus. Jesus was with God. Jesus was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Yeah. And Jesus became flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. The glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Who? Jesus. Mm -hmm. He's the gift that God gave. Why? Because God knew that we as mankind, our, he created us to be in relationship with our creator. Yeah. And because of sin, because of the nature of man falling in the garden by Adam, I didn't say Adam and Eve, but by Adam. It was broken. Amen. But Jesus put it back together. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And that's why this gift is so important. It's important for relationship. Why? Because Jesus said in John 14, he said, I am the way. He said, I'm the way of God. Yeah. I'm the truth of God. I'm the life of God. And you can't have it without him. Amen. This is why the gift that God gave is so important. Is because it gives us relationship. And he gives us relationship through the, the son. Yeah. Now, let, wait a minute now, because I'm listening. Because there are people today who are trying to form relationship with everybody and anything. And listen, he did not give us a relationship through another woman. He did not give us a relationship through another brother. He did not give us a relationship through a dog, uh -huh. a cat. Yeah, that's right. He gave us relationship through the Son. Amen. The Son Amen. of God. Amen. 
There are people who burn born children and think that this is going to get them in a relationship. No, this don't get you in a right relationship with God. Our only thing and person that's able to get us in a right relationship with God is Jesus Christ. Amen. And without Jesus Christ being born, we could have no relationship with God. That's right. Because it used to be through the blood of bulls and goats that brought us to God. But no, Jesus now Jesus brings us Jesus. to God. Yes. And I put a lot of scriptures down there so you can understand that the scripture said that Isaiah 7, 14, that a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. Amen. Amen. Bear a son. Not a daughter, a son. Yeah. Jesus is the son Amen. of God. Amen. Now, y'all have to look at the news and y'all have these TV shows and we say, what he pet? How many of you are pet owners? Don't be scared to raise your hand. You own a pet? <laughs> well, I got some in the house. I got six dogs. And all six of them outside. <laughs> in a kennel. They ain't on a chain. They're on a kennel. They ain't on a kennel. But you got people there, boy, they, they put the dogs over the, over the people. Come on, preacher. Get it. The pets over the people. Amen. Y'all were licking and kissing them all in the mouth and all that crazy Amen. stuff. Y'all seen it? Amen. But now they got this audacity to say, they don't say pet owners. Amen. They say the, the pets and they're humans. <laughs> they call the, the pet owner, they're humans. Man, that means they put the pet over. Amen. And now people say that dogs are man's best friend. Are you crazy? <laughs> God is Jesus. Is man's best friend. I know we got to go. But the scripture says in Matthew 123 uh, that it should, it, you know, a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son. And she'll call his name what? Emmanuel. Amen. God is with us. Amen. Digging his garden together. Beautiful boy out right there in the desert of the earth. And it says, God's presence. I think it says, God's presence is our presence. God's presence is our presence. Amen. Amen. That is our presence. Amen. His presence being with us is our presence. It's our gift. Yeah, that's right. And you ain't going and we can't find any relationship in anything else. Amen. He's alive. He's living. Good. And we're trying to we're trying to get a relationship with money. We're trying to get a relationship with uh, yeah. material things and people. Yeah. But no, we gotta have yeah. a right relationship with God. Yeah. And the only way we can do that is through Jesus this time. Yeah. Amen. That's why the gift that God gave is so important. He gives us relationship. Yeah. yeah. What do you do when, when your husband, your, your wife, your, your children, and everybody turn their back on your walk and Jesus said, I won't leave you? I won't forsake you. Yes, right. Romans 8, 14 through 17 tells us the men that are born to him, we are led by him. Yes, right. And we are heirs of his and joint heirs with him. Amen. Y'all got? Yes, right. That's why it's so important. Now, I'm not trying to preach you happy, teach you happy, whatever. I'm just trying to tell you the importance of knowing that the gift that God gave gives us relationship. When everything else you're looking for, don't give it to us. Amen. 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 You know, say, Christmas just ain't Christmas without the one you love. Oh, Y'all yeah. there? Yeah. Amen. New Year's just that New Year's. Y'all know the song. Yeah. Amen. But I'm telling you, Christmas is not Christmas if you don't have a relationship with Jesus. Amen. Jesus is Christmas. Amen. And without Jesus, there is no Christmas. Amen. But then the second thing is, as we move on, is, I, I know, I know y'all, y'all don't like a Sunday school lesson, a Bible study lesson, like that, but, but this is true. And certain times like this is so important that we know that the gift that God gave is what gives us relationship. Amen. And it's through his son. Amen. But also the gift that God gave gives us regeneration. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. It gives us regeneration. Yeah. Yeah. That's important. 
Because you know, if there's no regeneration, there can be no relationship. And as he gives us regeneration, it's through the Savior. See, God did not have to want a relationship with us. Come on, preacher. But he created us with a void that only he can fill. That's right. Yeah. And because God is a spirit in the Old Testament, and in the flesh, the spirit became flesh. Yeah. The incarnate spirit wrapped up in flesh. Yeah. And came down to us. Because, see, you can't see a spirit. And the spirit might, you might say, well, it can't relate to us. But when God prepared him a body for relationship, to teach us that we can have the right relations with him through yeah. the son. Amen. But first we got to enter into this thing what is called regeneration. Yeah. All right. All right. He let us know we can have a relationship. And people say, well, how in the world can I relate to God? It's easy and simple if you allow him to regenerate you. All right. All right. What do you mean? Make you over. Yes. Yes, right. Make us over. You got to be sick and tired of the old you yes. and want God to bring about a new you. Amen. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. The old you won't going to give you the right relationship with God. So you decided that when the Spirit tugged on your heart that you were out of relationship and out of fellowship with God and he let you know you can have this right relationship with God but the first thing you got to do is be regenerated. And how do you be regenerated? How do you be made over? He said through the Savior. Matthew 121, it said his name shall be called what? Jesus. Why? Because he shall save his people from their what? Sin. Yes, right? Yes, Amen. Amen. And when we enter into regeneration, we accept the Savior of our lives to be our God. And he makes us over. Yes. That's why the things we used to do, we seem to want to do less of them. That's Amen. right. Amen. I'm not going to say that the things I used to do, I don't want to do no more. But yes, yeah, sometimes some of them, they do. I do want to do no more. Y'all hear me? Amen. 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 But the more I get closer to my deliverer, he delivered me from those feelings, those desires that help me to be more like him. Amen. But it all starts with the regeneration process. Yes. Where the scripture lets us know that in 2 Peter 3 9, that God was not willing that any man should perish, Amen. but all should come to repentance. Amen. So, what did he do? He sent me a savior who will allow me oh, yeah. to come to repentance and him turn from the world of sin, yeah. turn from this flesh, and turn to my savior. Yeah. And he regenerates me, he makes me new, Amen. he Amen. makes me over. So when I never made over, I can appreciate this relationship that I have with God who gave me this gift called Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see, when I was out in the world, see, I didn't know that I didn't need Jesus. I didn't know who Jesus was. I didn't know what, even though I went to Sunday school, I was drunk to church, but I really didn't know Jesus. But when he poured my heart into the right place with the Savior and told yeah. me what kind of relationship I could have, and he saved me. I want you to know I got the right relationship with Jesus. But every now and then, every now and then, even though I got the right relationship, I break up this fellowship. Every now and then I mess the fellowship up. But I'm so glad I got a daddy just don't throw me away. I'm so glad I got a daddy just don't quit on me when I quit on him. That's what called the regeneration. Yeah. He gives us regeneration. That's why Christmas, the first Christmas is so very important. More than any other Christmas, the first Christmas to let us know that God gave us this gift to give us a relationship oh, yeah. through his son, to give us regeneration yeah. through the Savior. Because Jesus said, I come to see and to save those that are lost. Yeah. That's you. That's yeah. me. We all were lost. Yeah. The reason of sin is death, but yeah. the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 
Titus 3, he tells us not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy. Yes. Yes. He saved us and yes. washed us with regeneration. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. What can wash away my sin? Yes. Nothing but the blood. The blood of Jesus. Yes. What can make me whole again? Yes. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Yes. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. That closes us out. The last point. It's because, because the gift that God gave gives us relationship through the Son. It gives us regeneration through the Savior. Uh -huh. But the last thing, it gives us redemption. Oh. It gives us redemption through the sacrifice. Amen. What do you mean, preacher? Jesus said it. He said it. It's all, everything I just shared with you is in these verses. This one verse, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The son for relationship. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Regeneration. Yes, that's right. When we believe in him, he gives us regeneration. So we won't perish. If you don't perish, that means that something saves you. Yes, right? Amen. Amen. Something saves you. And we know it wants something. We know it was somebody. Mm -hmm. But then the last part of that verse, that we might have what? Everlasting yes, life. Oh my God, that yes. lets us know right here in this one verse that God gave us the best gift, the gift that God gave that gives us relationship through the Son. It gives us, oh my God, regeneration that we don't have to perish because of our Savior, but he gives us everlasting life because of the redemption, the redemption that he sacrificed for right. us out there on old rugged cross. Right. Jesus did it. Because Galatians 4, Paul said, in the fullness of time, God, he gave us of his Son, born of a Virgin. Can I get a witness? Yeah. And Jesus was born to die. Jesus was not born to live here on this earth, yeah. but he was born to die. He said he came to give himself a ransom for men. Anybody yeah. know what I'm talking about? Anybody know yeah. that scriptures yeah. declare? Peter, look, we were, Peter tells us in 1 Peter 1 18 that it was, we were redeemed with uh, such things as silver and gold for our vain yeah. conversation. No, no, no. But it was by the precious blood of the Lamb. Can I get a witness? Yeah. It was the blood of Jesus without spot of living. It yeah. was the blood of Jesus that washed away my sin. It was the blood of Jesus that made me whole again. And I can feel that joy when Job said in Job 19, I know that my redeemer blood and he shall stand in the light of day. Can I get a witness? Anybody know anything about the gift that God gave? Anybody know that he is the redeemer because of his shed blood? Because of the sacrifice out there on the old record cross? Way out down the hill called Karen? Yes, they marched him up the middle down the road and they nailed him to an old record cross and they moved him to the heaven and earth they put him between two leaves thank God Almighty when he hung down on that old cross he said forgive them father forgive them for they don't know what they do I'm so glad that I didn't know what I was doing I'm so glad that he was that they know what I was doing I'm so glad that I got a God who said hi and now I'm still in flow and he know what I need even though I didn't know what I need and he sent me the very best gift I could ever want can I get a witness and that gift you just be born but that gift died for me I'm so glad that God gave me a gift that was willing to lay down in order I'm so glad that God gave me a gift that was willing to take my place out there on that old road I'm so glad that God gave me a gift that was willing to take my pain on that old rugged cross I'm so glad that God Yeah. 
ever portrayed the birth of a Savior. Amen. Christmas. Yes, sir. But then there comes Easter. That's all right. That's all right. When we celebrate his death, yeah. his burial, Whoa. and his resurrection. Yeah. That's all right. I don't know about y'all, yeah. but I'm so glad yeah. that Jesus yes, sir. was born. Thank you. 